Hi right, guys, just wanted to let you know that 0 0.1.9 uh, version of FXGL is out. Um, if you want to grab it to play around with it and build um, some games. Um, if you remember, we started a, a Space Invaders clone um, a few videos ago, um, which we didn't really finish, but um, we had some enemies and the player. So uh, I'll just turn down so uh, I've added a few things in there like um, background tutorial and stuff like that so as you can see you now we've got score high scores um, then lives and stuff like that so and when we play a tutorial you will hear um, a computer voice narrating this is essentially a command called say on Mac, um, which takes in a file, text file, and then produces an audio file, uh, which is basically the things that you've typed in the text file will be said by the voice. Press A to move left. Press D to move right. Press F to shoot. Yeah, that was it. And then we've got a uh, level. Um, the sound is kind of, so I'm just going to turn down the volume completely. So what we got is enemies, the player, um, which we had before. I've added a few animations like uh, the explosion. Then we have, uh, so when we, um, when the player gets hit, um, the screen goes kind of red-ish like that and then you lose um, life and yeah that's it pretty much uh, it is um, the source code for that as a demo uploaded um, it was uploaded on github and it is now separate in a separate place called fxgl games um, i'll post the link in the video description so you can um, go through the source code and fork it if you want to uh, apart from that, I also want to show you a few things that we might have in the next version of FXGL. So like uh, liquids, for example, or liquid uh, physics, rather. So if you are planning to have a game with, um, say, water, water physics involved, then this might be a good opportunity for you to start using FXGL. Um, because um, there is JBox 2D engine underneath. Um, so every time, every version I'm integrating JBox 2D even more into FXGL so that all the features are supported. Um, so yeah, that's it really. Then we've got um, yeah 3D thing, uh, which some people have been asking whether FXGL is going to support 3D. Uh, although, um, technologically, this is possible because of JavaFX being able to support 3D. Uh, it's not necessarily, um, how should I put it? There's kind of no point in having 3D in there apart from just um, teaching game development, which I'm planning to do because this was the primary aim of FXGL library to encourage students to um, write Java and JavaFX code for games development, uh, for um, practicing games development. Um, as for the games, if you're planning to have a 3D game, then um, you should really look into things like JMonkey or libgdx because um, they'll have a lot more support because of the hardware access or OpenGL access to hardware. Um, because of JavaFX API, we're kind of limited in what we can do, but um, still we have a nice 3D scene here, basic 3D scene, which has a few cubes, uh, three-dimensional figures, which you can rotate, scale, as you can see, uh, and translate um, animations. And so pretty much the rest of the library is supported apart from physics engine, because physics engine, as you know, um, it's for, it's called JBox 2D and it's two dimensional engine. For 3D, you would have to use something like JBullet, 
Um, but there is some nice lighting, um, which is point light on top of the ambient light. Um, well, so we got, we've got, uh, I've slightly modified the camera implementation in JavaFX so that you could actually move around in the scene. Uh, w is the, uh, the traditional controls for FPS. And then you've got um, rotation using arrow keys. Uh, using mouse is also possible, but the problem is the cursor cannot be grabbed, uh, well, cannot be easily grabbed using public API. So, um, yeah, you would have to use something like um, J input, I think, which allows you to grab input possibly. Uh, because the input is basically, uh, the input events are propagated by the native OS um, libraries. And this is not something we have control over. Uh, what else? Uh, yeah, um, I'll um, post all these tests and experiments um, on GitHub so you can see the code and stuff. Um, this will also be a good starting point start, starting point um, for a 3D game developer um, because it has vectors, um, three-dimensional vectors, quaternion uh, for rotation um, uh, and basically some uh, of the geometry, uh, spatial geometry mathematics, uh, if you're into that. Um, you will have to be uh, if you're doing 3D games development. So at some point you will need to uh, do some of these things. Um, yeah, that was pretty much it um, for today. Uh, thanks for watching.